Welcome to Unbalanced Stories where we bring you the latest news and analysis around the world. In today's video, we will be discussing the recent leak of classified intelligence documents related to ongoing conflicts in Ukraine. The leak has shed the light on previous unknown division within the Russian government and exposed the sensitive information about the US intelligence gathering activities. We will be discussing the implications of this leak and the arrest of a suspect in connection with the breach of national security. A new batch of leaked classified intelligence document sheds light on the infighting among Russian agencies responsible for various aspects of Ukraine war. The document reveals that deeper divisions within the Russian government than previously known. According to the document, the Federal Security Service (FSB) accuses that the Defense Minister downplayed the Russian casualties in the conflict. The actual number of Russians wounded and killed in the action is far higher than the number being circulated by the defense minister. According to the document, the American spy agencies have penetrated nearly every aspects of Russian intelligence apparatus and military command structure. The material was shared in photos one of the Discord server where the first set of Pentagon intelligence documents appeared. The leaked documents contain mostly electronic intercepts collected by the American intelligence agencies and suggest that the leaker did not have the access to more highly classified material from human sources. The leaked documents highlight several reasons why President Vladimir Putin of Russia has failed to secure a military victory in Ukraine after more than 13 months of war. In fighting and finger pointing among the Russian agencies responsible for different aspects of war have been a significant obstacle. The new documents provide fresh details about a dispute in February in which Vyogeny Prigozhin, the business mogul who runs the Wagner force, accused the Russian military officials withholding the urgently needed ammunition from his fighters. On March 3, 2022, classified documents from the US Department of Defense were leaked on the internet. The documents revealed that the sensitive information about US intelligence gathering activities related to Russia efforts in Ukraine as well as spying on US allies such as South Korea and Israel. Following the leak, US officials launched an investigation to identify the source of leak. On April 14, 2022, Jack Takshira, a 21-year-old member of Air National Guard, was arrested by FBI in connection with the leak. Reports suggest that Takshira was a leader of a small gaming group where the leaked documents were first shared. The leak has raised the concern about the national security and the protection of classified information. US officials have pledged to hold those responsible for this leak accountable and prevent similar incidents from happening in future. Recently, leaked classified intelligence documents have revealed a deeper division within the Russian government regarding the Ukraine war. The leaked documents consisting of 27 pages shed lights on infighting among the Russian agencies responsible for various aspects of the conflict. The Federal Security Service FSB, Russia's main domestic intelligence agency, is accusing the defense minister for downplaying Russian casualties in the war. The FSB claims that the actual number of Russians wounded or killed in the action is around 1 lakh 10,000, which is far higher than the number being circulated by the defense minister. Additionally, various fighting forces deployed by Kremlin in Ukraine have complicated the Russia's military effort with the Wagner mercenary force. Fighters fielded by the Ramzan Kadyrov, the leader of Chechnya, not being included in the defense minister's casualty count. According to the leaked documents, American spy agencies have penetrated almost every aspects of Russian intelligence apparatus and military command structure. The breach of American intelligence agency may contain far more material than the previously understood. However, the leaked material contains mostly electronic intercepts collected by American intelligence agency and suggests that the leaker did not have 
access to more highly classified material from human sources. The leaked documents also provide new insights into why President Vladimir Putin of Russia has failed to secure a military victory in Ukraine after more than 13 months of war, infighting and finger pointing among the Russian agencies responsible for different aspects of the war have been a significant obstacle. For example, the document details the disputes in February, Prigozhin, the business mogul who runs the Wagner force, accused military officials of for withholding the urgently needed ammunition for his fighter. Mr. Putin attempted to resolve this dispute personally by calling Mr. Prigozhin and the Defense Minister Sergei K. Sugoyu into a meeting. The new batch of leaked documents include the material from the National Security Agency, the Office of Director of the National Intelligence and the Pentagon's Joint Staff Intelligence Directorate. The material was shared in photos on one of the discarded servers where the first set of Pentagon intelligence documents appeared. While the US officials have said that some of the documents were altered and the documents may contain outdated or inaccurate information. They did not dispute the information in the new document, but they could not independently verify them. One slide in the documents concludes that Russia has failed to disrupt the massive flow of Western arms and equipments into Ukraine since the start of the war, and the Kremlin's battered military will not be able to change that anytime soon. The Office of Director of National Intelligence Six page watch report compiles various accounts that have come into the intelligence agency in that hour before it distributed, some of them from a single source, often without in depth context. While the government officials reading the watch report note that some of the materials will be proven correct and other information may be incomplete. Report suggests that Jack Takshira was the leader of a small online gaming group where the leaked documents were first shared. However, this has not been confirmed by NBC News, which has not yet verified the details about the gaming group or where the documents were first shared. The US officials have stated that some of the leaked documents were altered and that the information they contain may be outdated or inaccurate. However, they have not disputed the information in the new documents and they are currently unable to verify them independently. The recent leak of classified intelligence documents related to the conflicts in Ukraine has exposed the sensitive information about the Russian and the American intelligence agency. The breach of national security has raised the concern about the protection of classified information and the safety of those involved in the conflicts. As always, we will continue to monitor this story and keep you updated on any further developments. Thank you for watching Unbalanced Stories.